it's becoming really apparent to me that my photography career is colliding with the internet and social media because in 2024 it's actually so hard to escape the internet and I think it's a really important discussion to have about how we perceive our own photos and, and why we're making photos and trying to separate them from everything that comes with this digital age and sharing and the this that is in front of us right now and how we can almost escape from the shackles of sharing and posting and making things for the wrong reasons and that's me included i think first we have to talk about why we make pictures and a lot of people make pictures because it's their hobby it's meditation it's escapism and that is such a beautiful thing and i feel like the pressures of the internet are invading a lot of people's safe spaces when it comes to making pictures and i know not everybody shares everything they make but when we see every day that other people online are constantly on and amazing for them they're constantly putting out pictures especially with film you know i see people i whose work i absolutely adore and and you know love to bits i see them posting and shooting 10 rolls a week then getting them developed straight away and this is difficult when a lot of people myself included are making pictures for ourselves and trying to steer them away from just living online the expectations of the internet and the people we follow are fake and it's really i don't i mean that in the nicest possible way we only post our best bits and we've all heard that um being said so many times and it's almost you know cyclical it'll, it'll come back around all the time and people will say we only post our best bits we only post the highlights and i was always one of these people that was like nah i want to live this life that's like shooting film all the time and making pictures and getting stuff developed all the time but we have to remember that it's actually not real life and especially for you know the vast vast majority of us out there that this is not realistic and i almost feel like i've been mourning this for so long like shit i can't actually live the life i wanted to live and i, I you know i'm lucky enough that i did it for a while you know i i was shooting three four rolls a day and then getting them developed but it's so unsustainable especially in in the moment we're living in right now with prices and just with our mental health it's too much it's too too much and the internet is playing such a big role in in hurting our photography like that mine included that's why i feel like it's super important to talk about this because it's invasive and the pressure i put on myself and i suspect people watching this will put on themselves is not fair on who we are as artists and people and brothers and boyfriends and friends and it's almost threatening to ruin my enjoyment of pictures the internet so i wanted to just say this in a video because i feel like i can look at this back and now being level-headed and good with myself i can i know that i am on the right path so if you, if you do feel like this and you it's so overwhelming the internet it's so overwhelming remember the internet is not forever these platforms these social medias this channel youtube it's not forever but your pictures will be and that's what we have to remember that's what i have to remember so here's some tips of what i'm going to do going forward to not feel this over overwhelmingness of the internet if that's a word i'm gonna look at my photo books more i'm super lucky to own photo books and and if you don't have photo books um there's your favorite photographer 
will have an amazing website. Lots of them do, and they're, they're so overlooked because of because of Instagram and because of um, everything that comes with that. We just want to see it quickly and then we move on. But maybe grab your laptop or grab you know the family computer and then just have a look at their website because I mean I go on Tom Wood's website every fucking week because it's the best. It's the best ever for me. It's like my bible. Um, and the second thing I'm doing is. I'm just going to take it easy, man. I'm just going to take photographs. And if I feel like sharing them, I will share them. And if I don't, then do you know what? They're still mine forever and they still have value and they still have worth, just like yours do, just like everybody's does. Regardless if it's getting 20,000 likes or 20 likes or two likes or no likes. Guys, it's just, it, this is just the internet. It, I appreciate you watching and we got this together as a team and as a group of people who are just out here making pictures, so.